Art Monaco is such a prestigious event, and I'm very happy to be here as a part of T.M. May's gallery. Thomas is an amazing artist as well. Both of us are into the parallel life, parallel universe, and creating perfect worlds, so imagine that, creating perfect worlds and a perfect world in Monaco. I have spent time in Monaco in the past, and I'm excited that I have a lot of friends who live here, so it was beautiful to see everyone this evening, and I did receive a lot of support, and that really made me feel great. Now, one of the things is, I'm just so excited I can't sleep. Preparation for Monaco, it was, it was definitely a lot of work, because I will be here for a month and a half. In Cannes, during the Festival de Cannes, which is my favorite festival of the world, I know that I have AFI in the Hamptons and Miami, Miami Beach, Hollywood. But the program we have in Cannes is going to be so exciting. And on May the 23rd, I will be working with Mr. Richard Nielsen at the Villa Oxygen. We're going to have a beautiful art showing there at the Villa with a reception, private. And then we're going to build the night with fashion and music. It's going to be a lot of fun. Both of us are promoting good causes. His is cancer in Belgium, and all of mine is Artists and Festival International World Peace Initiative. I'm sure that you all are familiar with this. It's an initiative to promote peace in a festival, and we now have a fund that is going to give funds for filmmakers in Africa, as well as a school in Africa called Igniting Youth Africa. And I'm also excited to work with Ms. McDella Cooper. Um, it's a little surreal. Uh, I like to bring uh, different kind of subjects, uh, like for example you see here, uh, dark matter in the universe. Try to analyze it. I do a lot of analysis before and research before I start on a subject. Make uh, big drawings out of it, exact uh, how to put the things before I start even to touch a canvas. The same also with the sculptures. Uh, is a lot of preparation and a lot of ID actually uh, behind it. How I get involved with that, the same thing, because it's a little bit a scientific subject also. Eh? Um, I like to, to bring a little bit out from what is happening in the other worlds. Eh? For example, if there would be eh, a little in the philosophy, a little bit in the psychology, what would happen in another world if we would have parallel universes, bring that a little bit in uh, everything we have in our life and bring that out on a painting that looks a new parallel universe created of the problems that are happening in this world. The coincidences, eh? in my opinion, there are no coincidences. Or you make it yourself, or you, there are real purposes behind meeting people. And the connections of, of meeting people always have been with me, that there is a connection between each other, and that you click, and that you find each other in that, and you make something out of that. Always. Many people in my life I met, it's always successful. Yeah. With all the research uh, around the subject uh, and the drawings, a few few months, uh, three, four months, yeah. to make a real good piece, a big piece, yeah, that has a lot, a lot of uh, different subjects in it and it, it takes a long time. Because I want to everything exact, I want to have truth behind it. Everything I put, uh, a symbol or, or a home or a stone, Everything has to be exact uh, comparing to reality also. I like electronics. I always have liked electronics. I like to redesign electronics, uh, re-engineer them a little. Um, the combinations of it eh, is a lot more possibility than just a stone. If you have a stone, a dead stone, you make a sculpture out of. We have the capacity, we have electronics. Why not bringing it in an art piece, in a nice harmony that uh, suits everywhere? There is a lot of management also, eh? because with art comes also management. So you have to promote your work. I always tell to other artists, you have to 50% paint and 50% do your promotional work. Eh? And then you succeed. So yeah, uh, to be honest, to help other artists. Eh? Because I know it's difficult uh, in the art world to get as, as a young artist to, to start, start doing things. And it's, it's, it's like, a, like be, being in a shark, shark pool and, and between all these, these different artists, so many artists. So I like to guide a little the artists and help them a little bit that way. We're on good locations so we can do that also. Some artists that we also included, eh, they're great artists also, uh, Lance Stanley and uh, Lucien. Uh, uh, we include them also to, uh, we like to help also in include in our gallery other artists, we're not one man show. Eh? I like to always involve others with it, that's how I am, so that's why also they are here. And they're great, great artists from Italy and from Dubai. 
perfect. Yeah, yeah that's gonna be a spectacular event. Eh? It's gonna be a high luxury event. It's gonna be a great good causes again behind it. Uh, we look forward on the whole thing to, to happen. Eh? And we, uh, we are working very hard to make everything happen, to collect the artists and have a special show there. Eh?